Hello and welcome to the video everyone, I'm Tier Z. Today gonna to be playing Dog Sled Saga. Got the musher license. So is there really a difference between the two? They got different stats or something? I mean I guess I'll go with this one. We got a little dog bed in there, gonna need more than one dog to mush. Move to Saint Mount Saint something. New start for me in the dog sledding capital of the world. Raleigh? An old family friend invited me to be the resident musher at the Firebowl Kennel. Ta-da, there's the Firebowl Kennel. You're alone tonight, but tomorrow I'll meet my team and Raleigh will introduce me to the basics of dog sledding. Dock and Driver Association roster. So I can choose three dogs? I like this, though. They said they're strong. Yes, Bandit the Strong Dog. Change our harness color. Oh, so you said it individually. Not really sure how the selection process works. I'll just keep it that color then. So I go with chicken. Funny looking dog. They have given names, no reason to change it. And Oreo. Yes. No. Ah! Press and hold A to throw a bone. So does I keep him running? Feed the panting dog? Oh, that's the panting dog. Out of food? So you do have a limit. Feed the panting dog. That's all it is to keep him running? No! Eat food! It's okay, buddy. Tap A three times? To jump? This is basically a one button game. Um. Oh, you gotta mash it. Mash that button. Hold X to grab. Reduce slack with this. Ah! That's a pro dog sledder right there. What a jerk! Press A to continue. So this game seems like it'll be a pain. It's like a bunch of micromanaging. Yesterday, some jerks sprayed snow all over me while I was learning the ropes with Relay and my new team. Anyway, there's a race today. I think I should see how I do. Terribly. So I got the fatigue, the happiness, yada yada. So I'd have to select today, six days, 30 days, select this. Which one do I do? They were breathing. My dog was breathing really hard. Watch their breathing to anticipate their hunger. If they're breathing heavily, they're getting tired fast. Food will help them out. So, a uh, regimen? Is that what that is? Proceed. Or it would make a good middle dog. Navigate to the main part of Oreo's card in the lineup. Okay. And then drop it in the middle. Boom. Beautiful. Those are they. A to feed the doves. Over through that one a little bit. There we go. Each your each treat. What does that mean? Throw it around the tree? Oop, over through that one a little bit, I think. Tingling. Uh, which one was it again? Mash the X. And uh move it. Nope, that's A. This way. And this way. There we go. Oop, sorry, buddy. Eat the food. Get it. Good dog. And then... No, the slack's gone. I think they were just tired. I still don't know what that means. Throw it around the tree? I mean, they didn't get caught on a tree or anything, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Nope, oh, missed that one. Oh, no, got it. So, it comes across a bit micromanagey to me. Now 
And now we're headed towards the finish line. Ah, uh, no. Sweet, second place for doing a whole lot of nothing. Got $200? Is that what that's supposed to be? Looks more like stars. So leveling up. Or does that mean they're currently tired and they can't run another race yet? That's a lot of stats, and I have no idea what they mean. Then into the side of Regimen for the dogs. Navigate to and press the Regimen button in the top right. I'll do a Regimen and be the last thing we do. Navigate to and press the task in the top left to change it. I can choose to do caretaking with my dogs to alleviate their fatigue quickly or train them to boost their skill warm up. Reduce their fatigue. Train dogs. So I got a few days till the next race, right? So I should be able to just uh, let them rest tomorrow. Warm up their skill in anticipation of upcoming race. So should I wait and do that until right before the race? Let's try doing it now. So have all the dogs training and proceed. Look at them, they're all so much more skilled. Four days till the next race. So it's one day at a time, right? Yep, now it's three days till the next race. So they didn't seem to gain fatigue from training, but they don't lose fatigue either. So I have to see how much fatigue they lose if they get to rest. One per day, but they lose skill. So that's correct. You reduce their fatigue first, and then you increase their skill before the race, so that they have the most skill before the race happens. So it comes across being a bit micromanagey for me, because when you think about it, strategy games are a bit micromanagey too by design, but it's in a way that I enjoy. I'm gonna end the video here for now though, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.